Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a quick look at sharpening stones made of aluminum oxide. There are different types of these stones and uh, made by different manufacturers. For example, this here, Boride Engineering T2 series aluminum oxide. Is Boride series PC polisher's choice. This here is Kasim this is Ukrainian made. And this one is Naniva Superstone and this one is Naniva Professional, formerly known as Naniva Chosera. All these stones are based on aluminum oxide. However, uh, all of them have different bond. Aluminum oxide stones can work with oil, such as these three guys, or with water, such as these two. You should refer to the technical information provided by the manufacturer. Find out if stones are supposed to be used with oil or with water. Aluminum oxide powder is made of alumina. Of the finest stones would be Naniva, Japanese manufactured ones, because they use the softest bond, that's magnesium bond. These three guys uh, are using ceramic bond. Bright Series PC uh, is called Polisher's Choice for a reason. This is also a very clean working stone that will give you a great mirror on your on your blade. Borite T2 and Kasim are slightly cheaper than Polisher's Choice. Ceramic bond used on Borite T2 and Kasim sharpening stones is a slightly harder. Aluminum oxide has hardness of 9 by Mohs scale of mineral hardness. I will remind you that uh, the only materials that are harder than that would be silicon carbide which is 9.5 and diamond which is 10 by that same MOX scale of mineral hardness which makes aluminum oxide also a great abrasive material. Aluminum oxide sharpening stones would best perform on steels with hardness up to 58-59 by Rockwell scale. The exception would be Japanese Naniva stones they are optimal for sharpening Japanese kitchen knives and those knives tend to have hardness over 60 by Rockwell. Japanese sharpening stones are significantly more expensive than the American or European ones. They also are significantly softer. So these stones wear out faster than the other types made in Europe and America. Japanese stones are the best aluminum oxide sharpening stones available on the market. And to answer the question, can we just sharpen everything with the Japanese ones, with Naniwa or Shapton? Yes, we can. I mean, you absolutely can. Nothing wrong with that. However, every sharpening will cost you times more than if you would use Baride T2 or Baride PC or a combination of the two, which I would actually suggest using. I would start off with the lowest grade of the cheapest stone. It would be either Kasim or Baride T2. And when I progress to the finest grits, I would switch over to PC, which is Polisher's Choice. And I would finish with 1200 grit of this stone. If I would like knife to be particularly shiny, then I might use one of these guys here. Should you or should you not get yourself a set of aluminum oxide sharpening stones? Well, if you're just starting with you know, in guided sharpening if you're just starting to use a guided sharpener and you prefer working with oil then i would recommend getting a set of boride t2 and maybe later on get a just one stone from boride pc series which would be the finisher it would be rather either a thousand or 1200 i would recommend 1200 one it gives you the best finish if you however prefer working with water then I would suggest for start maybe have a look at uh, Baride CSHD series. Can you mix the two? Yes, you certainly can. You can start off with water and then finish with an oil stone and vice versa. I normally pick a set of stones based on the steel and the type of knife I am sharpening. I am not considering am I going to use water or oil. That's not my starting point. My starting point is the knife and type of steel and the hardness of that particular type of steel. You can have the same steel heat treated by different um, knife makers and you would use different types of stones to sharpen that. I hope this was helpful. 
in one of the next videos I will compare silicon carbide sharpening stones to the aluminum oxide and probably will draw some conclusions just based on my personal experience. If you would like to see more content like that consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one and you have a great day.